How you doing guys? Professor EDC with another Bladeosophy Sunday. At last I'm able to do a video and at last I think I'm back after seven weeks of uh, well just an update on on, on that. Um, I came down with a pretty harsh uh, COVID and when I thought I was uh, finally getting over it, I got a cold. So my um, my defenses were like I had no no um, defenses in my body, and it took it pretty pretty bad. This this flu, and practically it was it was even or worse than than the COVID itself, and. It has taken me seven weeks to to gain this much energy and to feel good. Uh, a whole lot of uh, medicine and a good doctor, of course. Lucky. I'm lucky in that way. Very lucky. But I've been um, frozen for seven weeks and I have to um, pick up all of the how do you say the slack uh, that I left? Um, not because I wanted to, but because I was forced to. And now, well, um, I gotta take it easy as, as my um, immune system is, is, my defenses are, are barely getting back on track. And, but I do have a bit more of energy and well, what I'd like to talk about is because this is a great a great opportunity. Um, what did I learn from this experience? There are many many things that I that I learned from this experience, and in many ways and senses. By the way, what you see here is uh, um, just blades that that are. Um, I think appropriate for when we are sick and I'll explain a bit about them. It has to be, has to deal with uh, the weight, uh, the deployment, um, how, how easy it is to open or close. Some of them are a bit more difficult. Uh, but anyways, these are just some suggestions and, and just uh, lighter than, than usual. Uh, than the usual I like to carry. For example, I'm carrying um, my Socom uh, drop point right now because I'm feeling a bit better and I, I wanted to, to carry a bigger blade, heavier blade. But anyways, what did all of this uh, teach me? Well, first of all, I got to be conscious about that, about the... Uh, that there's a teaching in in, in this uh, illness and, and what I, I've lived. Uh, I was basically at home. I, I left uh, the house um, for nothing, um, practically. Um, being responsible, not only for myself, but being responsible for others, uh, my surroundings. And one of the things I, I learned is that uh, previous training comes in handy, particularly uh, when this training is, is fresh or what I mean by that, uh, that we practice, that that training is practiced. When we practice something that we learn, um, it, it keeps on, on being fresh right there, right? And, and so I... Um, I studied, as you know, um, some philosophy, particularly Eastern uh, uh, philosophy, and particularly Buddhism. So I practice uh, pretty often meditation. In the past, uh, I practiced in, uh, yoga many years ago, and Qigong and Tai Chi. And so I learned a, a bit of those uh, philosophies because I've, I've, I always like to learn about the philosophy behind um, whatever I'm doing in, in that sense. And about um, flows of energy and um, 
uh, how do you say digipuncture or, or well I, it'll come to mind the word that I'm um, energy points in the body uh, that's uh, that is from the Chinese from this uh, old ancient uh, medicine that the Chinese use and as well as as in in India and many other places right and I didn't heal because of that, but it just, this uh, understanding, this training isn't something that was born from one moment to another. It is um, a sequence of many events, like I'm saying, um, of all of these uh, different types of training that... Um, I took in the past and in the not uh, so far away past. This is like this because I have to sharpen it. I'm, I'm sharpening it many blades. Well, about to. It has been um, in standby uh, for many weeks. Another thing I learned was to pay more attention and and listen to my body. Meditation strengthens um, attention when it when it's uh, well done. What I mean by that is uh, serious meditation. There are many kinds of meditations. Uh, these all these new era, new age meditations, which um, I'm not going to get into all that. But serious and professional meditators. Um, such as Buddhists, whether it's Zen Buddhism or uh, Mahayana or uh, Vajrayana, etc., etc., or um, in, in Hinduism as well, uh, this is a, this is something that has been going on for more than two thousand years, well beyond that. So. Um, and, and the instructions that uh, great masters have left are very clear, but it's a thing that to, to be studied. And when paying attention to the body is, I mean, developing that attention, it's as uh, a microscope. You know, uh, attention can be, you know, you have a 2020 vision. Or perhaps your attention might not be so good and that you might need glasses and you're refining your, your um, field of vision and then you use, uh, I don't know, let's say, um, how do you say this, this Euler's, um, oh, oh, what do you call this? Um, eyeglasses or well these things and magnifying glass and they go uh, they have scales and you can increment the scale and that's how attention can be incremented by practicing different types of meditation and developing that attention so uh, why is it important? So that because you'll learn and you'll be able to listen to what your body's telling you in, in matters of uh, what to eat, what to do, what not to do. It was very hard for me to um, stay in bed most of the time and um, very boresome because I'm, I'm used to activity. I'm used to uh, um, meditating and um, and, not, um, and being alone. I'm, that's that's nothing new. But when sick, everything changes, you know. And so, attention and listening to your body will help you heal. I think. Well, that's, that's my point of view, that's my experience, and that's what I've learned from many people, uh, from my masters, 
from my teachers. And this is not a, 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 a thing of magic. Uh, this is a thing of uh, energy and, and food is energy. You know, that's what I'm talking about. And listening, because we have stopped listening to our bodies, when and how much to rest. It's not the same rest that we need when we are sick as when we, I don't know, um, have a bad, bad night's sleep, you know. Um, and so one of the, another thing that helped me a lot during this illness was really resting a whole lot. Uh, and that happened because I paid attention and, and I listened and I observed um, how I was doing. One of the things that really worried me and my doctor was the level of oxygen in my, in my blood because it went like very low. And well, there could be heart damage and brain damage at, at those levels. So... Um, and there were times when it was so exasperating, like fighting for a, a, a breath of air. It felt like that, that way. And the only thing that really kept me was that peace of mind that I, that I was able to gather um, through meditation, through focusing on my breath and following my breath. And... Meditation, in that sense, helps you gather your whole self and focus it on one thing. And I needed that focus in, for me not to um, get uh, worried and, and, and excited in, in, a, in a negative sense um, and uh, start breathing or trying to breathe faster when I wasn't able to catch a breath. And so... It's necessary, the other thing that I learned is, is to put mind at ease in order to heal. And that's, that's just uh, so important, so, so important, because everything is, is linked. We, we come to this uh, term again, in, interdependence, and how, how important it is in life and in our health. Um, and so... One of the things that was even more clear to me learning this in this whole experience uh, was that uh, balance is achieved moment to moment. Not only in nature, I knew that, but in my own nature, in my own body, in my own blood. Um, and that's, that's something huge. Uh, to comprehend and and it's so so deep it's not just something uh, rather superficial but it's something uh, rather deep and and that has to at least for me I, I get interested in all these sort of things uh, have to deepen my knowledge in that also well health is a treasure and uh, we don't we forget about that and physical health is basic and is the basis for mental, mental health and uh, for an optimum mental health and intelligence. And, um, you know, just barely today, I, I felt um, I had the, the energy in my mind to start thinking about uh, getting out of uh, this, this huge depth that I'm in because of uh, medicine and because of being uh, frozen for seven weeks and all, uh, being unemployed. And my brain started to function as it hadn't in for seven weeks. And that's because I have uh, a bit more of energy. And, and that was uh, colossal for me to, to notice that, how even thought intelligence needs energy needs um, uh, for me to be uh, fed well and not only that but to store some energy so um, that's really something to think about 
Another thing that I, that, I, that I learned is that, well, talking about intelligence, um, it's so important to discern and to have our um, mental health in, an, in optimum levels so that we can discern facts from opinions. You know, I, I, I had many comments or, or suggestions for, from my family um, and friends. Uh, drink this, drink that, and, and I really appreciate it. Um, but, like, really no one knew how, how bad it was besides my doctor. Um, and though I, pre I appreciated each, each uh, suggestion and, and comment because I know it was uh, heartfelt, um, one has to be able to discern in how, how, uh, how bad the, th the situation is and if a tea or um, garlic or um, anything else is, is going to um, homeopathy, homeopathy is going to help or when allopathy medicine is going to be needed and, and to focus on that. Love is demonstrated in different ways. And that's another thing I, I was able to, to appreciate um, during this time. Because not, not everybody that really loves you can be there and nor should they be. Um, we all have difficult lives and we have to carry our own um, and we sometimes have to suck it up. And we have forgotten that. We have forgotten how to suck it up. We live in, in so, um, so comfortable lives that uh, in many, many places, we're, we're coming to be uh, very delicate human beings when, when we came from um, very strong uh, people. And we must not forget about that. Um, those uh, people who, who were able to evolve um, and that strength in spirit and that strength uh, in character, um, just an example is sucking it up, is uh, necessary to develop and to evolve and, and to transform ourselves. And so, um, this caring for ourselves and caring for others is essential and in, in the sense of being responsible for, like I, I mentioned before, being responsible for ourselves and for the well-being of others. Uh, this thing is very contagious. I, I was one of those people who really took good care of myself and, and washed my hands and um, disinfected my, my shoes and, and every time I went out and came back in and uh, yada 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 everything I did I did not go out to to bars uh, nor have I done that in more than a decade um, but I just really took good care of myself yet I don't know how I came down with COVID and not only that but I came down with a with a cold with flu um, after COVID and it almost, it almost, um, you know, I almost didn't, almost didn't make it. And that's when I learned another thing, um, that great patience and attention will be needed in times of emergency. And I'm talking about personal emergencies, but as well as, um, um, well, not personal emergency. If uh, uh, a loved one dies, um, if we are um, going to pass, pass
pass away. The worst thing, it's like when we're drowning in, in the sea, right? Um, I don't know if, if, if you uh, have gone through that experience, but it's something like this. Um, you start exasperating and, and because you, you have this lack of oxygen that's not going in and more water than oxygen is coming in and, and you start, you know, going crazy. You start exas getting exasperated be because of the situation and, and your, your, your limbs start to move on their own. And if you don't calm down right there, it's very possible you'll, you'll drown. But you have to gather yourself, gather all your senses, all your strength, suck it all up, and focus. And I think that's very important in many senses. For those who believe who are going to go to heaven, I think that's essential when we die to focus. And for those of us who believe in, in uh, uh, rebirth, it's essential. Um, so it's essential anywhere, in, at any moment. Uh, whether you're of this religion or of that religion, if you want to die in peace or if you want to um, go through an illness in peace or at least with a more focused mind, it's essential to develop patience and attention. Why? So you can gather yourself and uh, have that strength of mind and body to face what's coming. Anyways, <clears throat> thank you guys. Thank you for all of your comments. I really, really appreciate them. I hope this is um, a sign that I'll be back now. Um, I am feeling uh, better. There are still things that uh, I have lung damage and, and some things that I have to overcome. But I'm very positive about it. I am also positive. Uh, I think in a, in a couple of weeks, uh, the most, I, I will make an announcement about my upcoming Patreon. Uh, so if you like this content, if you like... Um, the messages I give you and uh, what many of you have uh, very um, very loving, lovingly called um, lessons or um, teachings. If you enjoy any of these content I would really really appreciate you consider being part of that Patreon with uh, whatever you can whenever you can. That would really really help me out. That's to come, and I will make an announcement when the time comes. But in the meantime, please take care of yourselves and try not to get sick. Try to stay healthy. I know it, it's something that might be ridiculous to, for me to be saying because it's part of the of, of life and, and nature, you know, to get sick. But um, sometimes... We do get sick uh, unnecessarily by exposing ourselves or our loved ones too much. So please take that into consideration and uh, I hope you have a wonderful week. Thank you for all your comments. I'll, I'll be getting um, on track, back on track in that sense, okay? Professor EDC, out. <laughs>